Good morning from Jeffersonville, Indiana, the prophet's hometown. Dear God's invincible army, we are the ones that Father has chosen and given the true revelation of himself to. His one and only true church, the ones he has elected to do his greater works, for by his spirit we can discern and withstand Satan's Antichrist spirit. He is powerless before us because we are his invincible army. Satan hates all revelation, but we love it, for we are lovers of God's revealed word. With his true revelation in our lives, the gates of hell cannot prevail against us. We prevail over the enemy. Every devil is under our feet. We are one with him and can speak the word, for we are his word. The Lord has laid it upon my heart for us to study and to hear the seven church ages. It is going to be red letter weeks for each of us. He will be revealing his word to us as never before by his prevailing power. Now is the time. Now is the season. He will be quickening us, encouraging us by giving us stimulation by revelation, and it will set our souls on fire. The revelation of Jesus Christ is a prophetic book that can only be understood by a certain class of people that have a prophetic insight. Us, his bride. It requires the true revelation to know you are reading and hearing the voice of God coming from his chosen angel messenger, giving us supernatural instruction. It is the revelation of Jesus Christ that was given to John for Christians of all ages. It is the only book in the entire Bible that is written by Jesus himself through personally appearing to a scribe. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. The book of Revelation is the very thoughts of God, written by God himself, but he sent and signified it to his servant John by his angel. John didn't know its meaning. He just wrote what he saw and heard. But today, God sent his mighty angel to earth to reveal this great revelation to his bride, so we can read and hear what had taken place throughout all the church ages. We can see his little flock that stayed true and faithful to the word in each age. God spoke through his angel and said that in this last days, when the voice of his seventh church age messenger begins to sound, he will reveal the mysteries of God as revealed to Paul. Those who receive that prophet in his own name will receive the beneficent effect of that prophet's ministry. Glory! We are God's press play bride that has received that prophet in his own name and are receiving the beneficent effect. We believe it is the voice of God speaking and leading his bride. O oh, church, what we're going to read and hear in the coming weeks, to him we are his likened to pure gold, what he is we are. We are his true vine, and we have overcome. We are made perfect, established, strengthened, chosen by his elective love, 
nothing to fear. We are the group that heard the messenger and his message and took it and lived it. Each week we'll be saying, does not our heart burn within us and he speaks and reveals his word to us along the way? If you want to feel the anointing of his Holy Spirit, receive more revelation of God's word, and want to sit in the presence of the Son and ripen and receive rapturing in faith, come join us Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we begin our great study on the Revelation of Jesus Christ 60-1204M. Brother Joseph Branham. I would like to encourage you to hear or read each week from the Church Age book, the chapter we have heard each Sunday. This concludes the letter from the Branham Tabernacle, www.branhamtabernacle.org, and in full collaboration in foreign languages, www.svfellowship.info. Order your own copy of the Exposition of the Seven Church Ages book from our nearest Voice of God Recordings office, https colon forward slash forward slash branham dot org forward slash international. Until next time, God bless you and shalom.